My trusty bug zapper, which has served me well for the past two years, unfortunately died the other day. And opening it up, I tried to replace the fluorescent tube. Uh, that didn't light. So I looked at the circuit board a little closer and found out that uh, the starter seems to have burnt out. Notice the black discoloration on it. After doing some research on the internet, I found out that uh, any regular fluorescent light starter like this actually has a gas discharge tube starter on the inside, as you can see here. So what I'm going to try to do is take this starter and swap it out for the old one. And uh, we'll find out in a little bit if this will actually work. Here's what the starter looks like after you take it out of its uh, plastic casing. And what I'm going to try to do is remove this uh, glass discharged tube part. So I replaced the old starter, as you can see here, with a new one. Uh, when I first replaced it and I turned this thing on, nothing happened. I was a little disheartened, thinking maybe that something on the circuit board was fried. I was about to give up, but I decided to try one last thing, and that was replace the tube with a new one. And when I did that, and I went to flip the switch, voila, success. So there you have it. By using a around 30 US cent starter, I fixed this bug zapper, thereby saving myself 20 to 30 US dollars if I were to buy a new one. So there you go. Turning your old broken stuff into something new.